This game is fun. Go have fun with each other out there. We're going to make mistakes? Sir. Heck yeah. I'm going to make mistakes. But let's do it full speed. Let's give it our all. I challenge you guys to begin with me. You play harder than the guy in front of you. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! This game wrap is presented by R&D Custom Builders. You dream it, we build it. Proudly supporting area high school sports. And by the Jason Glass Group. Jason Glass Group is the top sales team within the premier real estate brokerage in the greater San Antonio area, Phyllis Browning Company. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great area high school and local sports coverage, TV, radio, and cheap web streams refuse to cover. And check out my Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fast, it's free, and the UIL will love you if you do it. Thanks so much and enjoy the show. It's a Comal ISD volleyball football doubleheader just outside of Garden Ridge as Fisher Canyon Lake takes on San Antonio Davenport at the Wolf Den. The football matchup is a matchup of a couple of teams that both won their district opener last week. Canyon Lake was the only team to beat Davenport in the regular season last year as the Wolves obliterated the record for the most wins by a first year San Antonio varsity program last year on their way to the third round. Canyon Lake got off to a tough start this year, one and four in non-district, though they won last week again to get to two and four. As for what's going on here at the gym, it is potential district championship clinching night for Davenport. If they beat Canyon Lake, they will win the district title. They obviously have much bigger goals on their hands as they are the top area team in San Antonio regardless of classification. The Dodson sisters, Talon and Ashton, the best sister act this side of Whoopi Goldberg and Kathy and Jimmy. Again, those two are going to be feeling their way and trying to lead Davenport to the final four. If they can win the district title tonight, it's the first start. Let's check out all the action from here in Davenport, presented by R&D Custom Builders and the Jason Glass Group. Davenport Volleyball, not much trouble with Canyon Lake as they won in straight sets to wrap up the 27-4A district title and will be the best chance for San Antonio to get someone back to the state semifinals after nobody reached the final four last year in any of the classifications. They're so good, even the football players aren't all. Dotsons are un unbelievable. They're two great athletes and they help lead our, our volleyball team to where they need to be. We go out there on Tuesdays when we can to watch them play and that just makes us go better to come out here like it's a community and help watch them and help them come out our games. Back with a football story after this from R&D Custom Builders.
Six touchdowns in a 19-minute span of the opening half broke the game completely open, and that included a missed field goal. 614 yards of total offense left the Hawk defense feeling, um, well, sick. Daniel Sukup missed two months because of an injury in a scrimmage. He wasn't quite Walt Clyde Frazier, but he had three touchdowns in his season debut, and the defense forced four turnovers in a 70-13 win to avenge last year's loss. Working on tempo because we knew last year we, did, we didn't get the ball a lot, so every time we got the ball, our, our goal was to score every time we got the ball. Our run game was big. Our running backs, uh, Mason Falcone and Barrett Fallon, they are finding the holes that our lineman was making, and our pass game was working when we needed it to hit. Reporting from the Wolf Den, I am Mr. Bowtie.